the density of Earth's atmosphere naturally slowing down Columbia, now traveling uh, at about 12 times the speed of sound, uh, descending uh, rapidly, now 33 miles in altitude, range to touch down 600 miles, all of Columbia's systems in excellent shape, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, all the Freon loops on Columbia holding steady, and uh, no issues associated with Columbia's return to Earth. Columbia Houston, take TAC in. The TACANs are three redundant tactical air navigation units aboard the orbiter receiving data from radio beacons located at the landing site. Uh, that data is processed uh, and fed to the general uh, purpose computers for use as the best, best available data for the guidance navigation and control officer here in Mission Control. Columbia right on the money, approaching the west coast of Florida. Time to touch down 10 minutes now. Range to touch down 264 statute miles. Columbia at an altitude of 26 miles, tra traveling seven times the speed of sound. Columbia now crossing the west coast of Florida, eight and a half minutes before touchdown at an altitude of 22 miles, range to touchdown 163 miles across uh, the peninsula. Columbia descending at a rate of about 280 feet per second. The air data probes have been deployed. Uh, these are two uh, probes located on each side of the orbiter's nose containing pressure ports, which sense the impact and static pressures at various points, and the combination of all those readings used to calculate dynamic pressure and altitude, airspeed, Mach numbers, angle of attack, and rate of descent for the orbiter's general purpose computers. Infrared cameras at the Kennedy Space Center will soon uh, pick up the view of Columbia. Take air data. Houston, Columbia is taking air data. Columbia passing over central Florida at an altitude of 17 miles. Range to touch down 80 miles from the Kennedy Space Center. There's the first view of Columbia approaching the landing site 
and also approaching the area called Terminal Area Energy Management, where Columbia will be commanded through a final series of banking maneuvers to bleed off excess speed prior to its arrival at the heading alignment circle for navigational updates. Columbia now 68 miles from the Kennedy Space Center, 14 miles in altitude, traveling two times the speed of sound, soon will go subsonic, heralding its arrival at the launch site with a pair of twin sonic booms. Columbia Houston, you are on energy approaching the hack. There are no changes to winds or weather. You are a nominal shoot deploy. Houston, we copy. Nominal shoot deploy. Thank you. Pilot Dwayne Carey at the controls, uh, getting a few minutes of stick time before he hands it over to Commander Scott Altman. Columbia now at the heading alignment circle, time to touch down three and a half minutes. An early morning wake-up call for the residents of the Florida Space Coast, twin sonic booms as Columbia has gone subsonic. Commander Scott Altman now flying Columbia, executing an overhead right-hand turn of 250 degrees to align Columbia with runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center, time to touch down three minutes. On final approach, Columbia will be descending at an angle seven times steeper than that of a commercial jetliner prior to the flaring of the shuttle's nose by the commander to burn off excess speed prior to landing gear deployment. You're now looking over the shoulder of pilot Dwayne Carey through the pilot point of view camera. You'll uh, see the runway in sight just a few seconds from now. Copy, Houston, on at 180. Commander Scott Altman now about three quarters of the way around the turn. Three miles in altitude. Columbia Houston on at the 90. Houston Columbia copies on at the 90, thank you. Good view out of the pilot point of view camera. Altman now uh, aligning Columbia. You'll see the runway in sight.
Columbia, Houston, on glide slope on center line. Houston, Columbia, field inside on a beautiful night. We copy field inside, Columbia. Columbia now perfectly aligned with runway 33. Again, the southeast and northwest approach to the three mile long landing strip. Altman now beginning to flare up Columbia's nose. Columbia over the runway, geared down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Carry deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Columbia rolling out on runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 3.9 million mile mission to improve the power and the vision of the Hubble Space Telescope. Columbia, wheel stop, KSC, meet on 5-3. Columbia, Houston, we copy wheel stop. Welcome back, and we'd uh, like to congratulate you all on a very successful mission servicing the Hubble Space Telescope. We have no post-landing deltas.